today I wanna fill one more page or pages in this big cheap uh, sketchbook and of course I will take you with me so you can see what I'm doing this time. I have already picked up an uh, image that I want to use as reference also a picture taken from uh, it's a seaside um, landscape uh, from a photo that my husband took and if you are interested in using his uh, images I might you let me know because I asked him and he has no issue if you want to use them as reference uh, as well you know about all this copyright thing you will not have problem with that and I would be so happy to see what you can come up with uh, with the same images that I'm that I am using so yeah if you want to do that please let me know you can send me a message here uh, down below in the description or you can go into my Instagram the link to that is in my descriptions as well and you can send me a private message if you don't want to have it um, yeah for everybody to read and i will come up with a way of sharing that for today i have something new again <laughs> and new well okay it's actually a very old thing So, um, it must be back in 90, in 1990 or 91 that I bought, I was very young back then, <laughs> I bought this uh, little box of Neo pastels from Caran d'Ache. Um, I have already, always liked to paint and draw, so um, back then I tried this and i this has been with me for a long time uh, i have not used it since 1991 i think so they are very old <laughs> and i can't see the any date on the labels so um because i think i will always like to use mixed media and i'm just trying to see how I can combine things and which effects I can get combining different things so also of course I want to see what I can achieve only with one medium but as you can see from these things that I have been showing I'm trying different techniques and different materials and different ways of, of painting and I'm really uh, having a lot of fun doing this so the last image that I know of that I painted with these uh, is something very precious for me that I will show you as um, it's an oh maybe you need to know a little bit more about me I somebody asked me or commented about my accent and um, I am Danish and I'm born here in Denmark, but I have a family history uh, going many years back um, resulting in me living in Argentina for almost a half of my um, How do you say that? <laughs> um, I have been living in Argentina for, I had lived in Argentina for over 20 years, no, almost 30, 30 years I have lived in Argentina. So that's my accent, that's what they, that comes from. And I lived in a place, in a rural place, in something they call, it's in the Buenos Aires province. That, it's not in the city, that's a huge city, but the province is uh, huge and it is a rural, um, yeah, yeah, has a lot of, it's very plain and my family had a farm over there, so uh, we used to drive a lot and the distances in Argentina are huge, so there's a lot of 
driving hours and as a child I really enjoyed that it was a time where there was no iPads and no phones so the only thing you could do was uh, watching watching outside the windows uh, when, while your family was driving uh, hearing music and stuff like that and I was always um, amazed about the landscapes and so I painted this back in 91 I don't know how old I was so it's made, this is made with the um, Neo Pastels that I showed you and this is not from a reference image it's just, just something from my mind thinking about those landscapes it's a light, night lines landscape but when the moon like you see there is full moon and the sky is very clear and over there is it's amazing how the you can see the stars and everything it's very different from Denmark where there are a lot of small cities so you don't have so much so much uh, light from cities so it's not the same but in Argentina is in, is, and then from the place where I grew up it's impressive at least it left a impression a big imp impression on me so this is a fun little image that I made of a happy car driving in that landscape so yeah a little a little thing a little thing about me uh, I love this image and it has been on frames sometime it has a lot of memories and I can still feel the what I felt back then making this and I can remember how the landscape looked so yeah so here you see me starting sketching the image with a pink nail pastel and I thought that was a good idea to you start as the image has some lilac and pink undertones then I continued putting the darkest colors in and in this case I had to use my black because the palette as you can see is very small so I don't have many choices which can be a good thing and you have to be more creative with your colors then I continue putting the color in the sky and again I am putting two different blues the only ones that I had and on top of that I put some white to make it lighter and I smudged it as much as I could to give that sky look and I also try to work with the um, texture that these pastels can give you can get very smooth surfaces using your finger and if you don't do that you get some lovely texture So now I am putting a little bit of green on top of the trees, the black on the trees. And there was so a little green hill in the back and I used three different colors to get the right color on the paper. Then I used a raw amber or yellow ochre. Then I started putting some very light layers on the sand. I wanted some areas to be cold and some other warmer. I'm just putting some very light layers of different colors. In this case, that 
yellow ochre or raw amber and then a very light grey which is quite cool cool in the tone and my idea was to blend them together and leave some places so I can keep that nice texture Here I'm going in with a little bit of brown and starting to define some seaweeds and rocks and small stones in the on the sand. And I tried to because I thought that I didn't have enough white, so I was saving the white for later, but then I discovered that I have a whole new other piece which was so so dirty that I couldn't see that but that's that was nice to see I will definitely have to buy more white if I want to work more with these I think I, I have white for one more painting and that is that Now I'm working with the reflections of the sky in the sea and then the clouds. Again, just using what I had. And working with these neo colors is uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to try this is because you cannot make many details because they are so thick. So it's an excellent way of to push you to work more loose and having a small palette like that it's also a good thing it also makes you be more creative with the colors and how you combine them Now I'm adding more stones, small details as good as I could. And I am sorry my hand is over so you cannot see when I'm actually painting this. And the last details that I made were all these stones in the water. There were stones and some seaweed, so later I will be adding some green to the water or in between the stones. There's the green from the seaweed and again I have only one very very bright green and a very very dark one, so I had to blend different colors together to get something that could look good in the image.
So this would be a great option if you want to go outside and make some squeak, quick sketches. But uh, the only thing is that they are very dirty and you cannot close your sketchbook without putting a paper in between the pages or treating the page in some way. And I would need more colors uh, because being outside you don't have so much time to, to blend colors and stuff like that. But it was a fun little project and yeah I didn't enjoy it and I hope you enjoy it too and remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already and um, I will see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>